Hi everyone, it's Sandy. It's Sunday and I'm just going to do a quick follow-up because before I told you that we were redoing Father's Day because our raspberries excitement overflowed. Doesn't that look great? Um, a lot of you ask, what are the pieces of paper in our books? And I wanted to, you may know if you come in a lot, but I wanted to explain that if I'm not here, the reason I started putting clippings like these um, in is so my staff can read in the spare time they have and tell you, but also if I'm not here and you're here, you can look and see what I was thinking. Why did I buy this book? So today I'm going to tell you about one particular reviewer that um, I've relied on since the beginning, and that is because it is independent. It's called Kirkus Reviews, and I can tell you that getting a starred review from Kirkus is the cream of the crop. Everybody wants one very few get one and I will put those in my um, books but I only have one hand um, so some of my books for raspberries are starred Kirkus reviews but others aren't and I want to tell you about why it's all good and that is that it's completely independent Kirkus they are not owned by anybody they did sell recently and I was nervous that you know who was going to buy them but they were not for sale to that sort of person um, an independent really interesting I'm going to blog about this so I can tell you more um, the person bought this company and it started with Virginia Kirkus, who in, was born in 1893. She was a teacher for a while. And then in 1920, she went to New York to work in the publishing industry. And she realized pretty early on that publishers and their point of view was the only thing booksellers and librarians had to go by when they were buying books. Back in the day, there was no internet to get an independent perspective. There was nobody really talking about what books were good other than the publishers who were selling the books. So she said, you know what? I am going to start a company. I'm going to call it Kirkus Reviews. And she said, publishers, you can send me your advanced copies of books you have coming out. I'm going to read them, but I'm going to say exactly what I think. And that's it. And she knew so many people that a lot of publishers, in fact, all the publishers, sent her their advanced copies. This is pre-publication. And she did. She gave a short, concise review. And she's well known for being very pithy and also keeping in mind what librarians would be successful with and what booksellers would sell. So she is literary. Um, I mean, she died. She has other people working for her. But she is literary, but she also has in mind booksellers and what is a thumping good read. So I just showed you some starred reviews, which because they're so independent are um, the cream of the crop for all of the reasons I talked about. Some literary, some great reads. But also, I mean, what I love about them is that the people who write them are not necessary in publishing. Some literally have their PhD in mathematics. And there is a sense of what is fun and well-written. So both of these, you can tell by the cover, are something you might think is a beach read, but got starred reviews because Kirkus said so. And they think a lot about not just is it well-written, but does it accomplish the author's goal? What was the publisher thinking in publishing this right now? And another thing that I love about them is that they're famous for these very pithy final statements. They All reviews have one. And so this is one of Carrie's picks for raspberries. And it says, why you double-crossing little double-crossers, fiendishly clever. So they love this book, but they're fun about it. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about Virginia Kirkus because um, she is my new hero. And... Um, in the meantime, look for these reviews and sign up for raspberries. Ooh, this one.